image recognition is not just limited to typical red, green, and blue color uh, images. We understand those EO, but also infrared, thermal, and other spectral bands. So let's take a look at what that might look like with people detection on thermal cameras. And this opens up a variety of different use cases because at night, infrared is typically a much more reliable data source than anything in the color spectrum. And so uh, whether we're working in aerial or uh, land photography and video, uh, being able to understand the different spectral bands gives us a huge advantage in working with some of our customers in the public sector and commercial domains. So in this case, we're gonna pull up a pre-built people detector, which is provided by Clarify. So we're gonna select the Clarify user, browse through the list of all the possible models, uh, do a quick search and find that we have the people detector here and add it to a workflow. We're gonna add this one model to a workflow just so that we can see the workflow results in our built-in user interfaces. So now that we've added the people detector to the workflow, we're gonna just find a few examples of thermal images and see how well we do at detecting those people, regardless of whether they're typical red, green, uh, blue images, or thermal in this case, infrared, et cetera. Our models have been trained to become robust to these types of uh, differences in the input data so that you can get uh, much more accurate results regardless of the input domain. So here we're detecting all the uh, people up front uh, pretty reliably and with pretty high confidence. As we go through a few other examples, you can see we're putting those bounding boxes tightly around the people, even the blurry ones in the back of that last image.